My name is Dan Stewart, and I'm a Siemens product specialist at e &M. Today I would like to introduce you to a powerful configuration tool for Siemens automation products. Typically putting together an automation build material for a project can take a lot of time. Figuring out the system architecture, defining the hardware, and finally putting together all the documentation that is required to be included with the project. Well, the TIA selection tool can make it a lot easier to get this done. Here are the components we'll be using in our example today. Let's get started by opening the TIA selection tool in the project view. First thing we need to do is add a CPU. Click on New Device, Controllers. Click on the ET200SP. Now we'll go up there and we're going to change the name. We're going to make it Main PLC. We're going to leave the, op the other options as they are. So we're going to select the CPU under Central Processing Units, 1512SP, double click. The standard accessories will show up, just say OK. First thing we're going to add is going to be the digital I.O. So digital in, double click. We're going to choose the double base, which is going to have a power feed and a through feed. So you'll notice the blank one. We set, click on the second, go to our digital outputs, double click. Now we're going to add the analog in. We're going to do something a little different with this one. We're actually going to click on it once, then we're going to change accessories. We're going to make it the double base, but it's a feed through and say OK. Now double click on it. Click on the blank and we'll select the analog output. Now the drop is done. Now we'll save this in our library. Take a right mouse click, go insert in library. And the library is something that allows you to save uh, elements of your project so you can reuse them over and over again so you don't have to recreate them. We're doing this right now we're adding in a uh, Ethernet switch as well as a uh, 12 inch HMI and the required software for development. So now we've got all the components we need for our project with the exception of the power supply so we'll go up to 24 volt uh, consumer view you'll see as we click on the devices how many amps they actually use for current. Then we turn on, we look at the CPU. It shows the power requirement for the CPU, but there is also a requirement for the outputs. And right now it shows at four amps. Total could be up to eight amps, so we're going to change that to eight amps and say OK. So now we'll basically just connect all those power connections between the devices. And after we've done that, we'll click on the 24 volt DC, which will actually allow us to create a power supply. We'll edit it. It'll show us the total load requirements. Click on the power supply. We're going to add about 20% reserve just so we have a little extra available. And then we'll hit the result. It comes up with the right power supply, and we apply it. And at this point, we have all those hardware components in our bill material. Next thing we do is we go ahead and project and we'll save it as I have an existing program I'm just going to overwrite that and just say save. Now that we have a hardware list we can use it in a variety of ways. We can use it to create an export file that could be imported into TI Portal to automatically build the hardware for us in the PLC project. There are other options available by clicking Order List from the Project Navigation sidebar. The Export button can create Excel files to send in for pricing. One huge time saver is the Documentation button and Export to CAX. You can choose what information you require, select all you need, and Siemens will archive all the files and send you a download link of the archive files. Just think how much time that will save. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. If you have any questions, 
please do not hesitate to contact me at any time. Remember to contact e &M, the West Coast leader in automation, for any of your future automation projects. Thank you.